In the 2019 Pixelmator Pro update, export for web and quick export options were added. Now when we click on the share menu, we have a few built-in quick export options as well as export for web. We can also get to the export for web option from the file menu or by using the shortcut shift command E. When exporting for the web, the color profile assigned to the image is removed, as well as any unnecessary metadata. This will reduce the file size as much as possible, so the image loads quickly on a web page. To retain the color profile and metadata, you need to use the standard export option. So here in the export for web panel, I can select the image format and the size. 0.5 will mean half the current size. 1x will be the same, 2x is double, 3x is triple. Click on the turn down triangle to access more adjustments and options, like the JPEG quality slider. Notice that a suffix will be automatically applied to the file name if I select anything here other than 1x. We can also add a custom suffix. Click this Add button and we can export another version of the image at the same time. So I could export a second JPEG at a different size or switch it to a PNG file. Click on the Export button and we can then choose the destination. Or just click and drag on the thumbnail above and the two files will be exported to a new folder, in this case on the desktop. If you need multiple versions or different sizes of an image to be exported, this can be a really quick way to do that. When starting with a full-size photo like this one, which is almost 5,000 pixels wide, you're probably going to want to reduce its dimensions before exporting for the web. Even at the half-size setting, this image is probably going to be too big for a web page. When I add an image to a web page or an email, I usually like to set the maximum width to be around 1000 pixels, which at 2x for retina displays would need to be 2000 pixels across. So I'm going to change that here in the image size panel. Then use export for web to create two JPEGs, one at 1x and one at half the size, which in this case will be 1000 pixels. That gives me one version of the image at 2,000 pixels wide and 192 kilobytes, and a second at 1,000 pixels wide and 68 kilobytes. Both of these should look good and load quickly on a web page. I need to remember to then undo the size change that I applied to the image so it's not saved at only 2,000 pixels. That now brings us to the quick export options that we have here in the share menu. These are just preset export for web options. So if I choose to export this image as a JPEG at 80% quality, I just need to select it and then choose a destination. In this case, the image is exported at its original size, or 1x. So utilizing export for web, or a quick export, can be a great way to export an image to different formats and sizes. I found that the 80% JPEG option is the best balance of image quality and file size when exporting for the web.